Hello everyone, welcome to Intel Revolution and Freedom Fighter 2127. This is uh, breaking news, not really, kind of, it's all getting old, isn't it? It's all, this whole agenda is getting really old. Because it's just the same thing over and over and over and over, it's repetitive. And the same thing keeps happening. A false flag or a staged event happens, and then all of a sudden everybody starts calling for gun control. Well, lo and behold, here you go, White House, Obama's preparing more executive actions on gun control. The White House confirmed that President Obama was preparing a series of executive actions on gun control to match his recent passion on the issue after the latest mass shooting in Oregon, which in that speech, he hinted at gun confiscation. He didn't hint at restrictions or background checks. He hinted at gun confiscation when he mentioned Australia and Great Britain. It's a high priority and will continue to be until we start to see more progress on this issue in this town, White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest told reporters today at the press briefing. Ernest said he would quibble with anyone who criticized the president for not voicing any specific gun control proposals during his press conference, asserting that the White House was working behind the scenes for more executive actions on guns. I can tell you that they're not stumped. They're continuing to review the law that's on the books and continuing to consult with legal authorities, but also others who may have ideas about what steps that can be taken to keep guns out of the hands of criminals, Ernest said. Boy, they are getting desperate. Let me tell you how desperate they are. Here is CNN. This was posted, I think, on the 5th. Donald Trump's Guns and Madness. Oh, excuse me, Donald Trump's Guns Madness. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Here's their article. The insanity that Donald Trump embodies in his unique dash for the White House became all too obvious this past weekend when he suggested that teachers at Umqua Community College in Rosenberg, Oregon, should have been armed and waiting, which is true. Now, before I go any further in this article, I should mention, you know, it's kind of interesting that the TPP has just kind of passed, and that also gives all the corporations all the power in the world, and you, we don't have a normal president with Donald Trump, if, excuse me, we wouldn't have a normal president with Donald Trump. We'd have a businessman, a corporation leader, a corporation owner, a business owner. You get where I'm going with this? They've turned America into a corporation. They turned a lot of the countries, 40% of the economy in all those countries, into a corporation. And we're about to have a business executive I bet you he'll win, too. Like that wasn't planned. He complained that this college was a gun-free zone at a campaign stop in Tennessee. He added, let me tell you, if you had a couple teachers with guns in that room, you would have been a hell of a lot better off, which is true. We can hope this shoot-from-the-hip uh, nonsense, shoot-from-the-lip nonsense, will accomplish two things, put a stop to this man's political pretensions, and more importantly, draw attention to the madness of guns in this country. How many more lives have to be ruined by guns before we finally take them away? This is CNN. How many more, they're saying, take them away? And how often do we have to listen to crazy people, including members of the Supreme Court, telling us that the Second Amendment grants every American citizen the right to carry a weapon, which it does? I'm tired of hearing about this well-regulated well militia that is so necessary for American freedom. The Second that people stop carrying guns the second that they try and attack the Second Amendment and they just openly start coming for guns is the second this country loses its all of its safety and security and we will be a slave country 100 percent without a doubt without a shadow of a doubt I don't mind I don't myself mind if in addition to the police and military there's some self-appointed militias in old-fashioned breaches carrying muskets that's the sort of firearm our founding fathers knew about but let's regulate them so the people of America get to carry muskets, according to CNN, while police and the military would get to carry M4s, tanks, MRAPs. I mean, how many, how many police killings happen a year with these wonderful assault weapons that the police have? All about the... What about the special weapons that the military uses that nobody talks about. They get all those, but hey, guess what, citizen? If you want to own a gun, you can join a militia and you can carry a frickin' musket. That ought to defend your freedom. It did back then because it was equal. 
Today, not so much. I suspect that the framers of the Bill of Rights have long since rolled over in their graves. Yeah, not for the reason you're, you're stating, though. They never meant that ordinary citizens, including crackpots, should be able to buy weapons meant for battlefields. It's funny, because you disarm one side of a battlefield, or excuse me, you, you decide, hang on, you disarm a populace, and you'll see how fast it really does become a battlefield, but remember, one side's already been disarmed. The only people who should be carrying military-style weapons are soldiers and police officers. Why? So they can harass, harm, torment, and kill the citizens? Because that's what's going to happen. Oh, wait, it already does. <clears throat> and Donald Trump is dead wrong. Teachers should not carry weapons. In 1950, they were teaching children how to shoot. How many mass shootings did we have back then? When the belief in carrying a firearm openly was a lot more accepted. I've been teaching full-time for 41 years at small colleges, and I can't imagine what it would mean for me or my colleagues to be armed with handguns or rifles instead of books and a thorough knowledge of our chosen disciplines. In my view, an educational institution is the last place on earth where anyone should ever dream of having a weapon on hand just in case a madman turns up. So, hang on, this, I love this, I love, hang on, this is funny. Because if a madman does turn up with a gun, who's going to come stop him? Another madman with a gun, right? That's kind of funny. I, I think that's funny. Because if, if, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Because a madman only is going to go to places where there aren't any guns, like schools, like gun-free zones. But to stop that madman, a person with a gun has to show up. After a lot of people have already died, or been shot, or injured, or, you know. It, it's just, it's a nice little dream world they've got here. It's just like... <clears throat> If we stop selling guns in stores, if, we, if they ban guns, you know, it, it worked for crack cocaine, it worked for heroin, it worked for drugs, that when they, when they decided to stop selling them legally, if they ever did, well, it, it completely killed the problem. No more madmen with guns came, right? Or no more madmen on coke or crack or heroin or whatever came, right? It's so stupid. Because bad guys are always going to have guns. There's plenty of ways to get them without going the legal route. And that will always be. Colleges and classrooms should be havens of tranquility places where thoughtful discussions occur. Where students work to... Actually, I should say. Let me, let me translate this. Colleges and classrooms are havens of indoctrination. Places where tons of brainwashing occurs where students work together with their teachers to acquire more brainwashing of the arts and sciences that are so blasphemous it's not even funny. A campus should be peaceful and peace-loving, but yet madmen with guns show up. And they should be places where arguments are made and defended rationally with evidence. My goodness. Now, here's, here's, this, is, this is getting better. Governor calls for government shutdown over gun control laws. When it comes to gun control, Willie Centrist, Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York, is emerging as one of the most outspokenly partisan politicians in the country. As one of the few chiefs executives in the nation to successfully champion gun control as legislation in the aftermath of a domestic shooting, Governor Cuomo is casting himself as a leader on the issue. Last week, after the shooting at Umkua Community College in Rosenberg, Oregon, which killed nine people and injured nine others, Cuomo called the growing commonplace of such shooting a blatant failure of our political system and a blatant failure of the elected officials in this country. I'd love to see the Democrats stand up and say, we're going to shut down the government or threaten the sh to shut down the government if we don't get real gun control le legislation. Wow. Well, so now they're going to threaten to shut down the government over gun control. That's okay. Shut it down. The thing is completely corrupt and bankrupt anyways. Anyways, that's all the news of God. I want to thank you all for watching. God bless and carry on. <laughs>